Hello, welcome to your evening medical appointment. Quite a few tests to run through tonight and some of them will be incorporating some illumination. So I hope you're ready for that. First, let's have a little feel of the forehead. Just gauging the temperature there, roughly. Okay, let's check with the thermometer here. Okay, just rest the head back just there, please. Excellent, 36.5 there. Okay, so the first proper test, we're going to use the Thomas the Tank reading chart here. Just check in some text. Illuminate where necessary. So you can see we have Thomas there. Now I want you to have a look at the print just below. I just want to ensure that you can read the print there. And there. And for the N12 size. Excellent. We're going to flip to the next page where we have a picture of Thomas and Gordon there. Okay. I want you to focus on the print just below. N10. Okay. Do you feel you can read that print? And N8. How clear is the N6 print there, please? Okay, and what about N5 with illumination? Thank you. Okay, we need to have a look at the picture on the fixation stick here. Okay, let's bring some light in. Okay, I would like you to identify the cat, please, on the stick by pointing. Now just identify the dog. You can identify the blue flower, the yellow flower, and the antenna, please. Excellent. Okay, I want you to look at the fish there and follow into the nose now. Okay, any double vision. Okay, have a little joey there in the pouch. Follow towards the house again, please. Okay, that was convergence there. To the house. Right, I want to visually inspect the ears now. I'm going to be looking at the helix, the lobule, the tragus, the triangular fossa. Just behind the ear now. And for this ear. OK, 
Okay, I would like to incorporate this iris colour grading scale into the examination tonight. Some bright light now, just to see which colour you're matching up to on the scale there. Looking at all portions of the iris, also be checking for any heterochromia. And for the left iris, got all four zones there, thank you. Okay, that's iris colour matching completed. I'm going to use the Burton lamp now to do some extra checks. I'm going to pop some yellow dye into the left eye and use the blue light to check the integrity of the cornea. Looking up for me, please. I'm going to blink a few times. Okay, just look through the window back at me, please. Take another blink. Okay, look down. Look to the right. And look left. And up to the ceiling. Straight ahead through the window, please. So corneal integrity is looking fine there. Nail staining. We'll stick with the Burton lamp and use it to check how this contact lens behaves in your right eye. So let's just take this lens. I know you've had lenses in before, so you'll be absolutely fine with this one. All right, that on the finger there. Okay, just looking up slightly, I'm going to pop this contact lens just on your right eye. So, take a few blinks, please. Okay, let's see how the contact lens behaves in the right eye. Going to be very bright here. Take a blink. Okay, look to the right. Look to the left. Look down now. And up. Just going to push the lower lid up to move the lens. This is what's known as the push up test how it moves and the recovery, thank you. So that's the end of the bright light there. Sorry about that. So left and then right contact lens assessment. The push-up test, 70%. 
the primary gaze blink was about 0.3 millimeters. Nice smooth movement on horizontal lag. Right, just looking over my shoulder into the distance, I haven't checked the pupil reactions yet. to the distance again, please. Okay, nice big nine millimeter people on the right. And on the left side, we have nine millimeters there. Excellent. So pupil, Reactions at direct and consensual right and left. Negative RA BD. Pupil sizes right and left, nine millimeters. Nil a nice aquaria. So I have the iris colours and convergence we checked towards the beginning, thank you. Right, I want to do a skin inspection. With the magnifier here. It's illuminated, but it's a nice soft light. So I'll keep the head steady in the primary position, please. Tilt the head back for me. Check the anterior aspect of the neck, thank you. Good, that concludes the skin inspection. To visual fields now, a little test here. Okay, cover your left eye, please. Okay, I want you to look at the black spot in the center. And do you see eight red spots? Are the red spots perfectly circular as you look at the black spot? Excellent. No missing parts or no washed out parts. Excellent. Cover the other eye now. Okay, 
direct your attention to the black spot again. The light in the correct position for you. Are you seeing eight red circles? Any missing areas to the circles? Any apparent washed out areas? Visual theatre monocularly there. Full left, full. Right, I'm going to have a little look inside the mouth. Specifically, I'm going to be grading the teeth using the scale there. Okay, so open wide. We want the lower incisors first. Canines. And the molars there. Okay, for the upper rows, tilt the head back slightly, please. The upper incisors. And then the canines, and then Thank you. I can just lift the tongue to the roof of the mouth. Okay, that's the tooth inspection completed. Grade 4 and for the upper each set was grade 4 there. Okay, I specifically want to look at the back of the eyes using the yellow filter on the ophthalmoscope there. I want the widest aperture so just looking over my shoulder, please. Okay, just specifically focusing on the optic nerve this evening. All right, I'm going to grade the ratio at point four. Nice pink color apparent definition of the vessels at the margins. Now disc hemorrhaging or surrounding cotton wool spots there. No apparent bayonetting of the vessels or notching. Excellent. Looking up my shoulder again. Nice definition. Vessels are defined at the crossings. Ratio is approximately 0.3. And now nasty findings there. Excellent. That's the optic nerve assessment. The direct ophthalmoscope. Thank you. some identification here using the Glaucoma UK ocular hypertension booklet I'm just going to illuminate this page and ask you to identify certain structures there so just point to the pupil for me point to the sclera the choroid, point to the macula, optic nerve, the lens, just identify the retina, ciliary body, 
cornea and just point to the trabecular meshwork please. Excellent. Okay, one more thing I want to show you in this booklet here. Okay, the image at the bottom there. Just identify the iris and just use your finger to show me the outflow of aqueous humor, please. Okay, now point to the cornea and identify the conjunctiva, please. Now just finish with the trabecular mesh work there. Lovely. Okay, I think you've done a marvelous job tonight. It's only right that you have a sticker for being good. And you have a selection to choose from here. I have 24 stickers here. Let me illuminate them for you. There we go all different colours and images. Okay, have a good look at these stickers there and select which one you'd like please. Okay, now it's a tough decision. Any ideas which you'd like? Okay, I'll get that one ready for you. There you go, just stick that on there. Okay, that concludes the evening darkroom illuminated medical tests tonight. I'll see you next time.